Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the council meeting of Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. Let the record show that all councilors are present except Councilor John Swiberger and Councilor Jennifer Hoffman Suckman. We'll move on to ads and deletes. Delete department and committee reports number 3B, add bids and quotes number 1D, add closed session. Approval of the agenda. We have a motion for approval of the agenda. Motion to approve. Second. Second. We have a motion by Councillor, oh, excuse me, Justin Vassell, supported by <laughs> Councillor Bayless. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, nay, motion carries. We'll move on to approval of minutes. Approve the minutes of the Hibbing City Council meeting of May 3rd, 2023. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Councillor Whitney. Support. Support by Councillor Hildebrand. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Approve the minutes of Hibbing City Council workshop meeting of May 3rd, 2023. So moved. So moved by Councillor Bayless. Support by Councillor Hildebrand. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Consent agenda. One approve accounts payable dated 5 11 2023, check 17 4662 through 17 4767 in the amount of $967,711.57. Approve the city payroll for pay period ending 5 5 2023. Checks number 168725 through 168736 in the amount of $551,981.62. Approve the job description for student intern in the city administration office. Authorize the post for authorized posting for student intern in the city administrator's office. I have authorized the hire of summer students for city services, cemetery and library pending pre-employment contingencies. Six, authorize the promotion of Sarah Voss to full-time firefighter paramedic with the Hibbing Fire Department, effective May 17th, 2023. Seven, authorize the out-of-state travel requests of Brittany Dillinger and K9 Dottie to attend the recertification training in Indiana, May 21st through the 26th, 2023. Eight, accept and place on file the Hibbing Police Department activity report for April, 2023. Nine, authorize the Hibbing City Council to attend the National Bank of Commerce open house on Thursday, May 18th, 2023, from 11 to 4. Ten, set the next regular Hibbing Council meeting for Wednesday, June 7th, 2023, at 5 p.m. at City Hall in the Hibbing City Hall Council Chambers. Eleven, set the Hibbing City Council workshop for Wednesday, June 7th, 2023, following the Hibbing City Council meeting at City Hall in the Hibbing City Council Chamber. Wishes of the Council. Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Councillor Faso. Support. Support by Councillor Whitney. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. <clears throat> Nothing for public forum. We'll move on to uh, department and committee reports. City Services, <clears throat> Nick Arola. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Uh, tonight, I'm just looking for your authorization for the mayor and uh, clerk to sign a facility use agreement with the uh, Hibbing Baseball Association. This would be uh, cover VFW Baseball and Legion Baseball, a new three-year agreement um, with our standard language that we've been moving through with all the associations. Um, just looking for your approval for the new rates for the next three years. Okay, hearing what Mr. Rolla had to say regarding uh, facility use agreements. Could I have a motion? Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Councillor Fossil. Support. Support by Councillor Hildebrand. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Thanks, Thank you. We'll move on to two, and that's basically, uh, we had a first, uh, administrator's first, second quarter evaluation which was uh, last week, the Hibbing City Council met with Mr. Prasinski on May 10th, 2023, for the purpose of evaluating the city administrator's performance and developing a working plan. The city council believes that Greg is leading the city in the right direction and will continue discussions throughout this year. Greg, it was an outstanding meeting and very thorough. So I thank you so much for that. Do we need a motion for that, Andy? Or just that's just an informational piece, right? Correct. All right. 
All right, from there, we'll move on to city administrator. Uh, <coughs> a, strategic plan placeholder. Thanks, Greg. Great, thank you, Mr. Mayor, city council. Good evening. So as I get my PowerPoint up and running here, Ron, if you can switch that over for me. Um, so uh, I would like to roll this out to the city council um, and our residents. Uh, the subject of this evening's rollout is our strategic plan. And um, I just want to start with why we would do a strategic plan. I want to make sure that our residents hear from us. Um, I've got four points that I want to share. Um, so number one, we want to develop long-term direction. Number two, uh, develop expectations and values. Number three, evaluate current conditions. And then last um, of all, develop goals uh, to bring the plan to life. So a uh, little bit on the process. Uh, we met as a group on the 26th of April, and it was the mayor, uh, key leadership staff, um, and we did use a facilitator. Um, that individual did help us. It was about a five-hour meeting, as everybody knows. Um, but also, it was uh, in, certain, in three different segments. Uh, we talked about our long-term vision. We talked about values and expectations. Um, and then we also talked about short-term goals, and we did capture all of those. And at the end of the meeting, we'll do a little Q&A with our city council and then take action on that long-term strategic plan. So um, we did clean up our mission and our vision statements. Uh, they were a little bit wordy, so what we did is ex extrapolate from um, their current mission and, and vision uh, a one-sentence mission statement and a one-sentence vision statement. So I think we've captured uh, the spirit of, of uh, our mission and our vision. I'll just read real quick. Our mission, improve the quality of life for all residents through the delivery of quality and sustainable services. Our mission being a thriving community that leverages resources, opportunities, and strengths to enhance, to enhance quality of life. Um, we also did develop core values, and these core values were developed through the whole process, um, consistently through the, the entire uh, workshop. These key items came up over and over. Um, I'll read each value, I won't read all the detail, but leadership, excellence, trust, innovation, collaboration, stewardship, transparency, professionalism, and accountability, nine in, in total. Um, those are the core values that we will live by when it comes to doing our daily work um, for the residents of Hibbing. Uh, so uh, the next few slides will cut right to our long-term strategies. We've got six core strategies. Um, again, I will read each strategy. I won't read the detail. We'll have this posted for people that are enthusiastic about um, going ahead and reading the full document. But so strategy number one, thriving destination and regional leader. Well-rounded, strong quality of life. Engaged and forward-thinking leadership. A vibrant economic hub. Safe, secure, and valued community excellence in delivery of services. Um, and those are the six uh, key strategies, the underpinnings, if you will. Um, and this slide just depicts simply that all six of these key components, these key strategies, not only do they overlap, but most importantly, they work together to develop a, a strong and sustainable community. So the next three slides, lots and lots of words. Um, I'm not gonna go over these slides verbatim, but what I will do is talk a little bit about our organizational expectations. And we arrived at these expectations as a group. Um, and again, there were certain themes that came through um, in all of these expectations in the entire um, uh, conversation that we had on the, back in April. So things like respect, trust, 
Honesty came up often. Professionalism, uh, communication, patience, transparency, um, fair budgets, um, accurate budgets, um, expertise, professionalism, again, uh, performance metrics, so uh, measuring our performance. Um, again, these are captured in those, in those core values. Um, so I'll go on to the next uh, phase of my presentation here. So we did talk about goals. Uh, we talked about goals in the context of our strategic plan. Um, we talked about them in terms of primary goals and then opportunity goals. Um, so what we came up with the top priority goals, completion of three big, three big projects. We talked about the Mind View, our campground at Cary Lake, um, and our public safety building. We talked about implementing a plan to revitalize Howard Street. We talked about a feasibility study um, on a community recreation center, center I should say, um, creating a CIP, a capital improvement program for our equipment and facilities and our infrastructure, and then also building our land portfolio, portfolio for economic development. And then last but not least, cleaning up our ordinances which are outdated and uh, just need some attention. So we also talked about opportunity goals, um, breaking ground on a residential development, updating our comp plan, high speed internet and trying to build that backbone in town, increasing activities for all ages of our residents, um, implementing a detox facility project, updating organizational policies and procedures, uh, addressing our blight issue, and then also leveraging technology um, to deliver those services. So as we bring the presentation to a close, um, we also talked about implementation. Um, so linking our long-term direction to our, to our short-term short action plans, and we talked about that strategic, you know, the six underpinnings um, and our goals, which will help bring those uh, strategic priorities to life. Um, we talked about measuring our um, activities. We talked about action steps, and we also talked about dedicating the resources to achieve. It's one thing to say, we're gonna go do this, but that also means we've got to dedicate the resources to make that come to life. Um, we talked about consistency and um, being focused in uncertain times. And then we also talked about engaging with our community. Um, we talked also about engaging with our employees internally. So it's communication with, within the organization and our community both. And then implementing and monitoring our progress, which is the last slide that I would present to our city council and our residents, the key result areas. So our results will be based on um, financial sustainability, uh, economic vitality, community growth and public safety, communication in our city image, and then community pride and philanthropy. So um, even though that was maybe a five minute presentation to the city council and our, and our residents and our guests here in the room, um, we did start this process back in June. We started planning for this back in June of 2022. Um, we have come as far as to boil it down into a one page um, document. Uh, we have a copy on the desk for the city council. There's copies up here too for the public if they wanna take a look at it. Um, again, this will be posted on our website. But with that, I would like to open up uh, questions and answers for our city council. Greg, I, I have one question, and then uh, <clears throat> we're looking at a time frame. I mean, we talked about where we want to go. What do you see as our time frame of achieving? Uh, I know our ultimate goal is to do everything, but uh, <laughs> what do you see as our time frame to get a good start on, on where we want to go? That's a great question, and I think maybe I'll even go back to some of our primary goals. Some of these goals are already in the hopper. They're already in process. For example, um, our top priority is 
Mind you, we actually will start construction on that here in the next week or two. Um, so some will be short term within the next several weeks. Um, I would like to have a really good handle on many of these goals in the next 12 months. Completion, I mean, that'll be another story. Construction with markets the way they are, it's hard to know if, if uh, construction um, costs are going to be up or down or about the same. So we'll have to kind of, um, it, it, oftentimes we'll have to just decide if um, costs are going to be in line with our budget and we'll have to make decisions at the time. So hopefully that gives you a little insight. Yes, Councillor. Uh, Greg, not specific to this, this is a great rollout. I appreciate all the work that you did and our facilitator that came with. Um, this is awesome and I want more people to see this. So can you maybe speak upon where people can find this if they want to get their eyes on the strategic plan? Great question. So my plan is, and I haven't talked with our IT department yet, I would like to have it like front and center on our website. I think that'll be our number one. <clears throat> um, I know we have a, a couple of different Facebook accounts. We'll probably link it to that and they can just then go right to the, um, to the website. Um, I would also like to be able to, um, send it to send it directly to some of our partners and collaborators, the range regional airport, HRA, HPU, um, um, IRRRB, I mean, just some of the people that we interact with often. Our, our county board should have a copy of it, maybe some of the other uh, local uh, municipalities. Um, so I do want to get the word out as, as quickly as we can. Um, so that posting is probably going to be the key point, though, on our website. Here. Yes, Councillor Whitney. And just kind of piggyback a little bit off what Councillor Bayless said. As we go through this and things are getting done and accomplished, will the, the public, I know as an elected official, I get asked like, okay, we said we want to do all this is to keep everyone updated. Okay, this is coming, this is happening. This is, is that part of the, like keeping the public informed of like where they can go to find this stuff, what's happening, where the process is, what stage it's in? So that's probably a little bit more challenging than um, some of the other questions. So there's a couple of things that we'll do to keep our, our public informed. Construction projects, for example. Remember the sequence of events, and I'll just use the mind view because that one's kicking off now. Um, we do feasibility reporting on the front side. And I mean, this is over the course of several years, but a feasibility report. Um, we workshop that with our city council. Um, We'll start talking about funding sources. We'll talk about preliminary design. Uh, we'll go into final design uh, sources and uses. Um, and then when it comes to the construction, oftentimes we'll have things like change orders, which is a great time to update our city council and our public on activities and where we're at. Um, the mind view, one of the things I wanted to be able to do on that one is have a webcam up there. I don't know if that's come to fruition yet or not, but um, so we're going to try to use different um, technology pieces to keep our, our residents up to date. The other thing that we'll do, Councillor, is um, this one pager looks vaguely familiar, I'm sure. This will be very consistent with what our annual report will look like. And we will also report to our city council and our residents annually which will be an update on where we're at with our strategic plan and how we're bringing those goals and, and where we're at as far as accomplishing them. Great, thanks for all your work. Mm -hmm. Any other questions, counselors? Greg, I, I think it was a good presentation. The whole experience, I think the council and all our staff really enjoyed it. Uh, it was nice comments from uh, uh, the individual you brought in to actually run our strategic planning and, and uh, it's nice to see the results in such a timely fashion. That's what's really exciting about this. And now to be able to put it out into the public. So, thank you so much. You're welcome. The last thing I would like to do is um, uh, if you would adopt that document, um, just okay. through a, a motion and a, 
um, an action would be appreciated. Okay, hearing that request, could I'd I have the, a motion? I'd make the motion. Motion from Councillor Bayless. Support. Supported by Councillor Faso. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Thanks, Greg. Thank you, Greg. That was outstanding. Uh, CU's administrator's report, is that? That's all I have. That's good, <laughs> all right. Very good. <clears throat> Okay, we'll move on to bids and quotes. Uh, first up is City Engineer Jesse Story. Uh, Mayor Council, we opened bids for the Rainy Road Bridge project. We received four bids. Northland Constructors had the low bid in the amount of $864,100. Uh, the engineer's estimate from LHB was $937,250, so we did come in under budget. Nice. The project breakdown, will be, we will be receiving $756,300.80 in state bridge bond funds uh, towards this project. The additional $107,799.20 will be funded with state aid funds. Currently, we do not have enough state aid funds in that budget um, through, our, through MnDOT for our state aid um, fund balance. So I did talk to our finance department and we can carry that through January 1st, and then I can submit a state aid pay request and we can be reimburse those funds out of our state aid coffers. Um, so I would ask that the council approve the bid from Northland Constructors in the amount of $864,100. Hearing a Chris request from Mr. Story, could I have a motion? Motion to approve. Motion by Councillor Fossil. Support. Support by Councillor Hildebrand. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, okay. motion carries. Uh, Mayor Council, we opened quotes for our city striping project. Um, this year's project, the low quote is from Sir Lines a lot. Uh, they did our project last year. Their quote was for $25,852.85. Our estimate was $27,669. So we, we did come in a little under budget. Um, I'm asking council to approve this, um, the bid to Sir Lines a lot in the amount of $25,852.85. So we're looking for support for the paint striping. Support. Motions, wish to the council. Sorry. Support. Support by Councillor Whitney. Second. I'll second it. Second by Councillor Fossil. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. C. Uh, Mayor, Council, um, our older jet truck, it's a 1995 model. The rotter pump on the truck failed and then we had a, the aluminum holding tank on the truck uh, develop some leaks. We can fix the, the uh, holding tank in-house. We do need to buy a new pump for this truck. The way it sits right now, we can't use it for anything. And we'd like to have a backup um, until our new truck comes in at the end of 2024. Uh, to fix the pump, it's $14,620.85. It's actually a new pump. And our mechanics will install this. And the quote is from uh, McQueen Equipment. I'm asking for council approval. Very good. Mr. Story is looking for a purchase of new rotter pump assembly. Wishes the council. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Approved by Councillor Fossil. Support. Support by Councillor Hildebrand. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. E, Jesse. Uh, Mayor Council, Rich Lees has a private development project, project the Central Campus Warehouse site. It's over by the old Mac building, um, over behind Velveline. They opened bids on March 21st. Low bid was from Bogalis Incorporated. Um, on the second page there, it has a breakdown of the bid. Uh, the base bid was $586,126. They have an add-on, and then they're taking some of the project off of the, off of the bid for a total project price of $570,000. Um, I did talk to Betsy, and this is included in the development agreement. So we are comfortable with this bid and we're asking council to accept uh, Bogalis Incorporated as a low bidder. Okay, we're looking for support to award Central Campus to Bogalis. Motion, wishes of the council. Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Councillor Fossil. Support. Support. Support by Councillor Bayliss. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay, motion carries. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you. We'll move on to Mr. Rolla, City Services. Thank you again, Mayor Council. 
Uh, first one I have here is on the uh, construction of the pickleball courts. Um, this is a professional services agreement with SEH. So our current agreement that we have with, uh, with them um, brought us through design and bidding of the, the project. We'd like to uh, finish off the project with them and can you continue to use them through the completion of the project and the construction. And um, this uh, professional agreement for $13,000 would bring us through construction with the uh, observation and staking of the, uh, the courts. So. All right, Mr. Roll is looking for a professional service agreement. Wishes of the council. Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Councillor Fossil. Support? Support. Support by Councillor Bayless. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Motion carries. B. Uh, B is the actual awarding of the construction of the pickleball courts. Uh, we, we had uh, bids come in Tuesday, May 9th. We had five total bids that were accepted and the low bid being ACM LLC out of Princeton, Minnesota. Uh, their bid was $313,317.50. Uh, I do have an updated sources and uses for you guys um, that I put up on the, the uh, desk for you. Um, their, or their bid came in about 13% above the engineer's estimate that we had from SEH uh, for, a, for a total project cost of 313000 To date, we do have um, currently cash in hand. The uh, Central Range Pickleball Association has raised over $265,000 and uh, they have another 5,000 in uncollected funds that are, are due to come in, bringing us to a total of $270,400 that they have raised, which is about 70% of the total um, construction cost, which is excellent. Um, I'll take a page out of Greg's playbook, and he always says for every dollar that we put in, we like to get two from outside. So I'd say that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good job of doing that. Um, on our uses, I do have the uh, court construction in there. We have a contingency <coughs> fund of roughly $31,000, uh, 10% of the total project cost for that. And then we have the SEH um, professional um, agreements in there. So the total construction and professional services of the entire project would be roughly $384,000. That is a little bit of a funding gap from when we, what we anticipated, but as you can see on our uh, recommended funding sources to finish up the project and working with our finance department, <coughs> Sheena Molnar, um, we believe we can, we can get it done and get this project across the finish line. We are hoping to, to get um, $10,000 from St. Louis County. We have a verbal on that. I don't think it's gone quite to uh, board approval yet, but we are counting on that. Um, hopefully the Ben Owens Foundation, a second um, request has been submitted to them for another 10,000, which is uh, meeting again in July. So hopefully move forward with that. Um, and then I know we talked about at our workshop of maybe doing a matching $30,000 from our uh, our city matching grant fund that we have, that we have set up. So that would match the IRRR grant. And then the remaining uh, shortfall would come from the, our mining effects fund, which uh, currently has 1.3 million in it. And um, 600,000 is earmarked out of that 1.3 for sirens for the town and uh, city hall building. And so leaving plenty of money to hopefully finish up this project. So I know I rambled on a little bit there, but um, any questions, I'll stand for answers. Otherwise, look for a motion to approve the uh, awarding of the contract to um, the low bidder. All right, hearing Mr. Rolla uh, and his explanation of, of where funding will come from and where we are at right now, uh, I entertain motion. Motion to approve. Motion by Councillor Fossil. Support. Support by Councillor Hildebrand. Uh, at this point, any discussion? I just had yes. one quick question. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> with awarding this, what would we expect for the completion date? Uh, uh, September. I believe he had that in. Maybe it's not in this one, but uh, September. 
is what we're hoping on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? Do we have any of the pickleball folks here? We, we do. We have mm -hmm. a whole group. Yeah. Nice, nice job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice job fundraising. Very good. I can't wait to see it done. Mayor, I have a question. Yes. Maybe if somebody wants to stand up and just ask how to get involved, when you guys meet now and when you plan to, just to get it out there for the residents. Yeah. Thanks, Ed. Tom Jamar is the president of the club. Uh, I'm the vice president. And when we first started fundraising for this, to think about collecting this amount of money from the communities and businesses, I, I didn't think we had much of a chance to ever come up with this, this amount of money. So this is a fantastic, great to see the construction being able to be done this summer. Um, we've been playing at the Early Childhood Center at, by the Washington School through the winter months and at the Lincoln Courts, but through community ed, that, that's where you sign up and make the payments, and that's been working just great. And that's fine for the winter, and now the, the tennis courts can go back to the school, and there won't be any competition. So that was the goal, and, and it looks like it's uh, going to be a great success. So thank you. Thank Anything you so else? much. I just want to second what Councillor Whitney said, your effort, because it's, it's something, yes, for the game you love, but it's, it's for the whole community. So, I mean, it's a sport that is growing, and it's exciting that uh, we'll have a facility of that quality in this community. I thank you. So, we need a final vote. All in favor? Any more discussion first? Okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Congratulations. <laughs> Library manager up next, Laura Conman. Good evening, Mayor and members of the City Council. I come before you this evening to ask for the approval from the proposal from IEA Incorporated for the materials testing at the Hibbing Public Library building in the amount of $2,180. This is to ensure we have a safe path forward as we do renovations and repairs to our library building. Very good. Uh, hearing what Ms. Conan asked to, Conan asked to say, who will give me a motion? I'll make the motion to approve. Motion by Councillor Bayless. Second? Support. Support by Councillor Faso. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Thank, Thank you, Laura. You. Move on to license and permits. Approve the raffle permit application request of the Hibbing Historical Society to hold a raffle on Thursday, June 8, 2023 at Palmer's Tavern. Wishes of the council. Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Councilor Bayless. Support. Support by Councilor Whitney. And discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay, motion carries. Number two, approve the raffle permit application request of the Hibbing Baseball Association, VFW, and Legion Baseball to hold a raffle on Wednesday, July 26, 2023 at El Nyberg Field. Wishes of the Council. Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Councillor Whitney. Support. Support by Councillor Hildebrand. All in favor? Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Three, approve the special event permit application of Blessed Sacrament to hold their spirit festival on Sunday, May 21st, 2023, and walk the perimeter of the church from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Wishes of the council. Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Councillor Fossil. Report. Report by Councillor Bayless. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Or approve the raffle permit application request of Hibbing Chisholm Youth Hockey to hold their raffle on Monday, June 26, 2023, at the Masaba Country Club. Wishes of the Council. Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Councillor Bayless. Support. Support by Councillor Hildebrand. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Number five, approve the special event permit application of the Hibbing Police Department to hold their city of Hibbing Community Cleanup Event, Friday and Saturday, June 2nd and 3rd, 2023, at the Stunts Garage at 1100 East 25th Street. Motion, wishes of the Council. Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Councilor Whitney. Support. Support by Councilor Faso. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. <coughs> Motion carries. Number six, approve the special event permit application of the Hibbing Police Department to hold the Special Olympic Torch run from First Avenue down Howard Street 
to the police department on Tuesday, June 20th, 2023. Wishes of the council. Motion. Motion approved by Councillor Whitney. I'll support. Support by Councillor Bayless. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. At this point, uh, do we need a motion to go into closed session? You would, Mayor and Mayor, just before we do that, um, as the council's been made aware previously, there is still a pending uh, potential litigation issue that the city is dealing with. Uh, the council's been advised of this before. Um, the presumption is, is all your meetings should be in the open. However, when you're dealing with a potential litigation issue, the uh, balancing and getting an op opportunity to get strategy in a closed session to deal with this issue outweighs uh, the benefits of having it in the open session, which is my, why my recommendation is we go into closed session to address this issue. This would not take very long tonight, just a few minutes to update you. Okay. Thank you. And we'll come back and adjourn at that point. Yes. Okay. So hearing that, could I get a motion to go to closed session? And Mary, you could adjourn now, just okay. saying you're not going to take any, we're not going to take any action on it tonight. I All just right. wanted to, okay. but uh, you could adjourn now at the end of that session. Uh, this will, thank you. Very good. We still need a motion to yep. go to closed session. I'll make the motion to go closed session. Motion by Councillor Bayless. Support. Support by Councillor Fossil. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. All right, we'll go into closed session. Oh. And then, and then you can make a motion okay. for adjournment, though. Motion there. for adjournment. So moved. So moved by Councillor Hildebrand. Second. Councillor Fossil. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you.